What's going on guys? I know that this channel has not been updated regularly for a long time now, but finals are over and I am back. And since I am back, I thought I would show you guys the softwares that I am currently using on my laptop right now. Alright, before we get into it though, let's talk about the laptop itself. This is a 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro with an Intel i7 6 core processor. Whew. I'm sick if you can't tell. So starting over here on the right, this is where the app start is right here, PyCharm. Now this is just a Python code text editor. It's pretty, pretty standard stuff here. Uh, just a bunch of coding crap. Next up we have HTML Code Academy. It's like a web link to Code Academy's free HTML course. This is not sponsored by Code Academy. I wish I had a Code Academy sponsorship, but I don't. But I'm just putting myself through their free HTML course and it is pretty good. And next up we have Spotify. I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm playing on Spotify. Next up we have the one productivity app that I do use and that is Microsoft To Do. Microsoft To Do is just a really good app. Like, it's so simple, it's clean. All you do is you just go down here to the taskbar and type in your task and enter. And then once you've done it, you go over here, boom. That's all you need. Next up, we have a fun little app. Well, I did skip these two. I'm not gonna show you guys my emails and Outlook. Uh, we have a fun little app called Final Draft 11. Final Draft 11 is actually a screenwriting app. I'm a film student, I study film. I double majoring, but I, I do study. Film is one of my majors. And it is a awesome screenwriting app. It's basically like Microsoft Word, but for screenwriting, so it's just formats you're writing in a little different ways to make it more seamless. So like up here, int, int interior, uh, misty, alley, and then set the time to night. A shadowy figure sneaks, sneaks along a deserted alley. Moving on, we have the Creative Cloud app for Adobe's Creative Cloud apps. This app, it's pretty much just like the hub where you up you can update your Creative Cloud apps. That's pretty much all I use it for. Now we get to the fun stuff. Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is probably the most complicated app I have ever tried to use. Which isn't saying much, I haven't tried to use that many complicated apps, but it's pretty complicated, at least for me. And I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of what this project is that I did here. You, be you guys better not steal this, by the way. Not that it's that valuable. But this is, like, all fake. This is a flat photo that was taken and cut out, and a 3D camera added, and the fake sky added, fake everything added, fake eagle added, and that is what happens. That's what you can do inside Adobe After Effects. Pretty cool. Um, next up we have Photoshop. Photoshop is Photoshop. You edit photos like this not so great photo I have here. Next up we have Adobe Animate. Now, I don't use Adobe Animate a ton. It was mostly for a film class I had this past semester. And we did use Adobe Animate for a couple of months. And I actually like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm not an animation guy. I don't want to be an animator. I'm terrible at drawing. But that's, in fact, kind of why Adobe Animate is fun. It's because it's pretty user-friendly. And even if you're not, like an animation expert, you can make some pretty cool animations for your YouTube channel or for your portfolio or for like an intro. Next up, we have Pr Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I'm not gonna go into Premiere Pro, you guys know what Premiere Pro is. Microsoft Excel. Uh, I don't use Excel a ton, this is just something I was playing around with right here. That's not science fiction. The Dolce Vita is not a science fiction film, that is foreign slash art house. Okay, that's a weird tangent to go down. But I'm just kind of trying to teach myself how to use it because it seems like a good skill to have and trying to force myself to use it because it seems like it makes you more productive. Uh, yes, I do want to save changes. Uh, Microsoft Word, I'm not going to go into that. You guys know what Microsoft Word is. Uh, Chrome, I use Chrome and I use Safari both. Uh, I think that it's good to have two browsers just in case, you know, one craps out and you need to use the other one. So I always have two browsers docked and those are my two browsers of choice. Well, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found it enlightening or useful in some way or at least entertaining um, to know what softwares I use every day. 
And before you do go, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And if you really feel like it, hit the subscribe button as well. It does help me out. But thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.